The United States and China have all developed aircrafts which can fly at several times the speed of sound. This makes them very difficult to track and especially tricky to shoot down. Therefore, the UK could soon be joining a deadly new arms race to build hypersonic aircraft, thanks to a new government-backed project. It will see the UK develop its own insanely fast military craft capable of evading all conventional air defense systems, and travel between New York and London in one hour. In that case, insanely fast military aircraft will fly at Mach 5.4, which means really fast. This hypersonic aircraft is expected to hit the sky by the 2030s. The new UK project, which was announced at the Farnborough Air Show, wants to figure out how super-fast aircraft could be fly in sky and then head home to be used multiple times. UK aerospace firm Reaction Engines announced that it is developing hypersonic military technology alongside Rolls-Royce, the UK government, and a national security fund. The UK hopes to fly a demonstrator vehicle as early as the middle of this decade. A new concept for a British hypersonic military aircraft has been revealed, dubbed Concept V revealed at the Farnborough Air Show on the 18th of July 2022. Concept V is part of the wider hypersonic air vehicle experimental program, called HVX, being run by the Royal Air Force's Rapid Capabilities Office, the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory, and the UK's National Security Strategic Investment Fund, as well as industry partners Reaction Engines and Rolls-Royce. The Reaction Engines team says work began around three years ago, and that they are in the process of testing engines. And shockingly enough, the announcement follows similar news last year that the Ministry of Defense is working on hypersonic missiles as part of a $2.5 billion project with the armed forces. Building on the high-speed propulsion technologies and extensive research and development capabilities of the partners, the HVX program aims to establish the UK as a leader in the race of hypersonic military aircraft. Reaction Engine's novel pre-cooler and Sabre combined cycle engine technologies are key foundations for the program. In combination with Rolls-Royce's gas turbine technology, this becomes a very great ability and very capable of being the fastest. In the case of the British effort, the aim is to develop a hypersonic engine that could potentially form the basis for a reconnaissance or combat aircraft. This hypersonic aircraft is expected to conducting high-altitude reconnaissance missions deep into hostile territory with a very high degree of safety and success while staying out of the enemy air defenses. It is expected that the HVX program will be expanded to include other aerospace companies and be applied to other craft and hypersonic technologies. Key to the system will be Reaction Engine's innovative pre-cooler heat exchanger, originally developed by the company for a space plane. The heat exchanger can reduce the temperature of compressed air rushing into an engine from 1000 C to below zero faster than the blink of an eye. This technology will be integrated into a Rolls-Royce gas turbine engine. Reaction Engines has been exploring the Rolls-Royce's EJ200 gas turbine in its design since 2018 lessons and believes that the lessons learned over the last four years will allow them to apply the tech to a smaller, undisclosed jet engine for the future HVX prototype. The consortium believe that the program will allow the UK to rapidly mature this new tech and drop the cost of developing a reusable high Mach hypersonic air vehicle. According to Mark Thomas, CEO of Reaction Engines, the UK needs to get off to a fast start on this. The goal of the UK project was to create a low-cost, reusable hypersonic vehicle that could return ready to fly another mission, he explained. Reaction Engines UK is part of a consortium developing a military aircraft engine capable of flying at Mach 5, five times the speed of sound, or 3,800 miles per hour. While it was still too early to discuss what the exact applications might be for the UK venture, the question was whether it could enhance the UK's defense capability. 
The reaction engine is also testing its pre-cooling technology on the other side of the Atlantic through a program supported by the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. It recently signed an agreement with U.S. industrial group Honeywell to collaborate on the development of thermal management technologies to help reduce aircraft emissions. Its cooling technology has also helped Formula One team Mercedes. John Wardell, director future program at Rolls-Royce, added, This collaboration will enable Rolls-Royce to work effectively alongside reaction engines and our strategic partners to develop innovative and cutting-edge technologies that will provide our customers with the equipment needed to meet their military requirements. The HVX program will bring together a unique opportunity to raise the UK's profile in our ability to develop both the skills and technology in the fast-evolving area. All of this marks the entry of the UK into an arms race where nations such as Russia, the USA, China and others are competing to create weapons that travel at unimaginable speeds of up to 12,000 miles per hour. This race can certainly make future conflicts very dangerous. One Chinese company last year unveiled a hypersonic plane capable of flying at 7,000 miles per hour, getting you from London to Australia in around an hour. Meanwhile, Russia has repeatedly said about its hypersonic missile capabilities during its invasion, following its successful test of the unstoppable Zircon rocket in October. On the other side of the world, the U.S. Air Force is building hypersonic cruise missiles with Boeing, Lockheed Martin, and other arms companies that could evade all missile defense systems. The search for ever higher speeds has fascinated engineers, scientists and the general public for decades. In 1967 the US's X-15 hit a speed of 4,520 miles per hour, about 6.7 times the speed of sound, when American aeronautical engineer, Major William Knight, piloted the rocket-powered experimental aircraft. The program has been acknowledged as the most successful flight research program in history, and it helped make human spaceflight possible. 